सर क्या हुआ सर हमने क्या किया सर I'm coming, I'm coming. हाँ हाँ, I'll take it. यही लोग क्या हमारे बहुत सारे यंग रिपोर्टर जर्नलिस्ट जो अपना कैरियर शुरू कर रहे हैं उन पर हमला किया जानलेवा हमला हुआ और कोई पूछने वाला नहीं देश की राजधानी में इस तरह की वारदात होती है और हम सब के सामने होती है पार्लियामेंट चल रही है और पार्लियामेंट के बीच में ये सब हो रहा है तो ये मुझे लगता है कि ये जो लोग ये सिस्टम को चला रहे हैं जो सिस्टम के टॉप में बैठे हुए हैं जो सिस्टम को ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं ये सवाल का उत्तर उनको देना चाहिए कि ये घटनाओं के लिए जिम्मेदार कौन है पूरे देश में ये हो रहा है उत्तर प्रदेश में ये हो रहा है दिल्ली में ये हो रहा है कश्मीर में हो रहा है देश के कई हिस्सों में हो रहा है और इस वजह से क्या हुआ कि आज आप ग्लोबल इंडेक्स में प्रेस फ्रीडम के ग्लोबल इंडेक्स में भारत का स्थान एक है शर्म की बात है ये मोदी सरकार के लिए शर्म की बात है कि वो इतना बुरा पूरी दुनिया में छवि जा रही है कि डेमोक्रेसी का हालत इस देश में ये है आई एम पर्सनली एक्सट्रीमली वेल आई वॉन्ट से शॉक बट कंसर्न बिकॉज वेन जर्नलिस्ट वर्किंग एट एट न्यूज लॉन्ड्री go out and i get a call that we've been attacked my colleague has been inappropriately uh, touched or dealt with uh, it's deeply concerning as, as someone who is hiring young journalists i feel responsible that i am responsible for their safety and for their well being and i am shocked and amazed that the home minister of this country feels no such responsibility i feel a sense of shame and a sense of uh, deep inadequacy that i cannot do enough to uh, ensure that my colleagues and my young journalists can work in a safe environment and for a man with the kind of power at his disposal to not feel at all embarrassed is is deeply concerning and is a commentary on the diminishing value of what is important in our country and this will not come back this will value will not come back if we just sit and do nothing about it we have to raise our voices uh in publications we work with in social media that we are a part of or among friends and and family that we interact with i think there is already maybe conversations in newsrooms where they where they're worrying about who they are sending for what kind of coverage because one is the fight back and one is the standing up to people the other is the immediate concern of the safety of the people on the ground you know so i think i think this is this is slightly more recent i mean i i don't think this was a conversation in our newsrooms till very recently and there is also an apprehension among uh, you know journalists of with a certain name of who belong to a certain community uh, of how they will be received initially when i came to this field i was really excited about the fact that we are young journalists and we are very passionate and uh, coming to delhi and seeing the kind of intimidation after a point it really gets you know it takes a toll on your mind after a point you will hear your relatives saying ki tum kuch galat to nahi kar rahi ho na because a lot of hate agar tum kuch sach kar rahi hoti tum kuch acha kar rahi hoti to itna hate nahi aata but how do i make them understand that this is what you get when you speak truth right i'd like to sort of just request some of you who are here for the first time that it is good to see that there are journalists out in number but i think we also have to learn to appreciate that when things go wrong the solidarity of the profession to have other journalists stand by with you is of enormous help it is just to remind you that similar incidents will happen to other journalists who may not have the same ability to connect 
in the larger network of journalism that it is our duty still to turn out and stand beside them whenever that happens there are people who actually have your back right for me for personally that is something that always keeps me going my friends my parents so if you know i was uh, arrested in tripura and there were two fir's against me and it was a really really uh, bizarre it was really uh, menacing because i was subjected to a lot of pressure a lot of threats of uap against me and that they won't let me go out of tripura if i don't delete the footages or if i don't uh, name my sources so that was actually there was actually fearful but then i took a month of break and i saw my parents actually having my back and telling me that see you have not done something wrong and uh, you have to go out there because this is not this is your first chance and agar aap first chance mein hi ruk jaoge to these people will come again is profession mein religion aur dharma hamare kya apna jo hamare jo bhed hai us bhed se zyada important ye hai ki hamara jo jo ye jo hamari jo duty hai as a reporter as a journalist ki jiske liye humne apni career ko dedicate kiya ki hum desh aur duniya ko यहाँ जो ट्रुथ है उस सच्चाई के बारे में बताएंगे तो ये जो ये जो अनएथिकल चीजें हुई हैं कि उनको काम करने से रोकना मुझे लग रहा है कि इससे बड़ा आ, आ, बड़ा हादसा कुछ हो नहीं सकता इससे बड़ी घटना कुछ हो नहीं सकती और मैं अभी भी मानता हूं कि रिपोर्टर्स आर ऑलवेज विदाउट बॉर्डर the question of identity the question of gender the question of how journalists are to be treated is at the heart of what we are discussing and we already know that this government has a larger problem with journalism it does not want us to do journalism that is critical of the government this is part of it they are wary of speaking to people with you know with a certain uh, identity so it's not just it's not just what's happening from the you know what what happened at burari and what happened at balia it's also what it's also the the dehsha that is there with the people who we need to reach out to as journalists for their voices so it's it's now percolating to uh, to not just incidents like burari it's the everyday communalism that is now something that young journalists or any journalists of any age that are who are now facing anyone who's doing ground reporting now it's unfortunate that haters are allowed to target journalists in full public view abuse them assault them intimidate them stop them from doing their job i think i think very correctly that seems to be the basic aim shrink the space for us to do our job stop us as, as far as possible from doing our job deflect us from doing our job to turn the journalists from the stage at a public event it's it's not just unfortunate it's it's unacceptable pure desh mein पत्रकारिता को लेकर एक एजेंडा है इस सरकार का मैंने पत्रकारिता जब की है तो बहुत सी सरकारें आई गई हैं कोई भी सरकार पत्रकारों से खुश नहीं होती है too often we have seen proprietors who do not back their staff and that at least that happens occasionally the question now is what next what how are we going to be able to push back and continue to be as loud in our journalism as is the as is the screaming that's coming from the from the powers that be everyone's hope is pinned on young journalists not getting cowed down by what is happening and for people like us who run news organizations to give them all the freedom the support and the backing and the legal support uh that they can be i mean that's that's really i mean it's it's the everyday battle now right but in the in in battling the everyday we've got to worry about what's the larger larger what next फर्क ये है कि ये सिर्फ असहनशील नहीं है दे आर नॉट जस्ट इंटॉलरेंट वो बदला लेने का मानसिकता से काम करते हैं जो जितने सारे संस्थाएं हैं वो जो सत्य में है उनके लिए हथियार बन गया 
जो पत्रकार है जो जो छोटे शहर में काम करते हैं जो छोटे वेबसाइट छोटे पत्रिका के लिए जो काम करते हैं उनका ऊपर ज्यादा हमला हो रहे and most of my friends their fathers were in the army and i remember that you know whenever there would be a, a breach of the border or anything they would feel a sense of personal personal embarrassment yaar hamare rehte hue kaise ho gaya in the presence of policemen the brazenness with which mob was acting including misbehaving with policemen i have no idea how any policeman does not feel a sense of deep embarrassment and shame even if the masters above you are asking you to put your pride aside just don't put your self respect aside how can they not feel personally assaulted when they are treated with such disregard in a public in a public place and if that is where we are going if it's the rule of the mob that we are acknowledging uh, i i don't see how any person in uniform is okay with it sathiyo ye do alag alag ghatnaye चाहे बलिया में हुई हो या दिल्ली के बुराड़ी में हुई हो ये आने वाले दिनों के संकेत हैं ये आने वाले दिनों में पत्रकारों और पत्रकारिता की हालत क्या होगी ये इसके संकेत बताए जा रहे हैं द शेयर एनर्जी ऑफ आर यंगर कॉलिंग एंड देयर कॉलेज एंड आई कान प्रेज देम इनफ फॉर द काइंड ऑफ मेचोरिटी एंड द काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी एंड द काइंड ऑफ कमिटमेंट एंड डेडिकेशन दैट दे शो Uh, in these very very tough times, I think you go back 30 years. Some of us have seen some very trying times, but I I am fairly certain that these are possibly as trying times as there have ever been, be it 92, be it 2002, etc. So these are very comparable times. So for all the younger journalists who are here, uh, broadly, you all are all doing fantastic work. 